I'm Steve Martino, the director of Peanuts. Today I'm going to give you a lesson on how to draw Snoopy. Use the pause and play button to pause the video and practice every line as many times as you wish. Let's draw Snoopy sitting. First, I'm going to draw his ear and then around the top of his head and then around the front of his face. You're going to use long, bold, thick lines. He's got a tiny little neck and, of course, a collar. Draw those lines so they almost touch each other, but not completely. Snoopy's collar is shaped like a small rectangle. Pause the video to practice drawing Snoopy's head, neck, and collar. And then push play when you're ready to continue. From there, let's draw his arm and his paw. Snoopy's arm is one line with a couple of strokes at the bottom for his paw. And when he sits down, his two feet look like two giant Easter eggs. Remember, just two big ovals. When they face us, you see the bottoms of his feet. Then add those three striped lines. Let's finish up with his body while we're here. Pause the video now to practice drawing Snoopy's feet and the last part of his body. Push play when you're ready to continue. Now we add his nose, his two eyes, some eyebrows for expression, and of course a great big smile. Watch this replay to learn where to put Snoopy's nose, eyes, and eyebrows. And don't forget about that big smile. That's important. Practice drawing Snoopy's nose, eyes, eyebrows, and smile. We'll come down and we'll finish off with his tail. Snoopy doesn't have a long tail, so remember, keep it short. Add a little bit of shadow so it looks like he's sitting on the ground, or in this case, his doghouse. Shadows are very important in drawing cartoons. Watch this replay and practice drawing your shadows. And of course, don't forget to shade in his black ear. Pause the video now, and you give it a try. Push play when you're ready to continue. <laughs> now there's a quick lesson on how to draw Snoopy. Let's take a look at it one more time. Keep practicing, keep drawing, and most importantly, keep having fun. I'm Steve Martino. Thanks for watching. I'm Steve Martino, the director of the Peanuts movie. So I'm going to show you how to draw our favorite little yellow Peanuts character, Woodstock. <laughs> Feel free to use the pause button so you can stop the video and practice along the way. Push play when you're ready to continue. The secret to drawing Woodstock is to use long, continuous strokes. I start at the very top feather and come down around his beak. And remember that Woodstock has a very big head, about twice the size of his body. Don't be shy with your pen, be bold, just like Woodstock. Proportions are key. Woodstock's head and feathers make up about half of Woodstock. Watch this replay carefully to draw Woodstock's head and feathers. And remember to use bold lines.
His body, wings, and feet make up the other half. Woodstock's feet each have three lines. Push the pause button now to practice drawing Woodstock's wings and feet. Then push play when you're ready to continue. Let's add Woodstock's tail. Be sure to draw that one line down the middle. Now make a couple of lines for his bright little eyes. And last, but most importantly, draw that great big Woodstock smile. Those are two bold, thick lines at a slight downward angle and a big round smile. Because Woodstock's always laughing and smiling. And that's how you draw Woodstock. Let's watch it through again. The more you practice, the more your drawings will start to take flight. Now you draw Woodstock any way you like. And remember, dream big. Who knows where it will take you? Maybe we'll be learning to draw your characters one day. Hi, I'm Steve Martino, the director of Peanuts. Follow along with me for a fun way to draw Charlie Brown. Push the pause button on your device to take all the time you need. Push play when you're ready to continue. First, we're gonna start with the head. Charlie Brown's head is shaped almost like a big circle. We're gonna start on one side and continue almost all the way around, stopping just before completing the circle. Next, we'll draw his ears. The first ear completes the shape of his head. The second ear goes just outside the opposite side of the circle. Pause the video now to practice drawing Charlie Brown's head and ears. Then push play when you're ready to continue. Next, we're gonna draw his nose and eyes. Watch this replay to see where to place Charlie Brown's eyes. See how his nose goes right in the middle of his head with two small dots on each side. Of course, everyone loves Charlie Brown's squiggly little hair. Here's how to draw it. Pause the video now so you can practice drawing his hair as well. Push play when you're ready to continue. And of course, there's that big Charlie Brown smile. Now that we've finished his face, let's move on to his neck. We'll make two small lines straight down and add a little shadow. Pause the video to practice drawing Charlie Brown's neck. Don't forget to add the shadow, then push play when you're ready to continue. Next, let's draw Charlie Brown's shirt. We'll start with the collar. It's shaped like a V. And from there, we'll continue on to his arm and his chest. Watch this replay to see how to draw Charlie Brown's collar, arm, and chest. Charlie Brown always wears his shirt with a zigzag design. To make this, we'll draw two zigzags, one on top of the other, then color it in.
Finally, we're going to draw his hand at the bottom of his arm and then his waist. That's a bold line at the bottom. Take a look at this replay to see how to draw Charlie Brown's hand and waist. Well, there's a quick lesson on how to draw Charlie Brown. For more fun, draw your own Charlie Brown. Or practice drawing Snoopy and Woodstock with me. Thank you.